don't stop. Hey guys, so um, getting ready to take Sherry so she can be cremated so I'll have her with me wherever I go. So it's got about a 30 minute drive. Sorry, I know you can't see me. And I left this light on down here. Uh, whew, it's really dark now. Alright, so, um, yeah, get ready to take her so she can get cremated. Let me, um, get her and, um, I'll see if we can, I don't know how this goes, so, I don't know. Alright. Can't just pay my baby. Oh, She couldn't stand that <laughs> that carry all, but it's her last ride in it. All right, y'all, here we go.
All right, guys, so we just got back in. AJ broke down. This house don't even feel the same without her being in here. It's like a part of us is gone. You okay, buddy? What's this for? What's this for, Nano? It's right there. What's that? Oh, it's just a, a hook. For what? Oh. She would have had a toy or something she wanted to play with. Okay, you making the people sick. <laughs> you can't send the people up and down like that. <laughs> Where's the people? I don't see them. They in the TV. They can't see us yet. Okay. <laughs> Even he don't understand the YouTube world. <laughs> I need that laugh. Well, guys, I don't know how long it takes to get over losing your best friend. Like, <laughs> she loved me through everything, no matter what. She loved me. Pet, see, that's what people don't understand that's not pet owners, is that... Your pet loves you unconditionally. And so if they can do it, why as humans can't we do it? Why can't we love unconditionally? You know, I've seen where people have harmed animals and those same animals love that person so much. <laughs> it's crazy, right? I don't know. So I'm going to try and push through. I've mourned all day. It's 5.54 right now. And I've been crying on and off all day. Like if I think of something that reminds me of her or if I think of a memory or just how she used to get in the videos, you know, back in the day when I did Outfit of the Days and she would come into the video and <laughs> she just was like the best pet you could ever ask for. She was the best family member ever, you know, sweetest ever, the sweetest, the sweetest cat didn't, didn't wasn't bothersome, you know. <sighs> Only time she would come to you is if she wanted something to eat, something to drink, or she wanted some love. Other than that, she entertained herself. Uh, she played with her toys. And um, AJ has already asked me, he's like, no more pets and nah, I can I can't. I had a dog named Brownie, and uh, 
I'm, I love that dog as much as I love Sherry. Truth be told, I love Sherry more. <laughs> uh, but that broke my heart when when she died. And uh, yeah, I said no more pets after after Browning, but the kids gave her gave Sherry to me. So you know, whatever gift my kids gave to me, no matter how big or small, I always cherished it. So. Um, that makes this loss doubly hard oh, because it was a gift for my children so I don't want y'all to go get me no more pets okay <laughs> I'm talking to my kids don't go get me no more pets uh, cause my heart can't I can't I can't I love heart and um, I don't want to feel this pain no more. You know, I don't do good when I lose relatives. And so we always think of our pets as relatives and uh, family members. So if you ever lost anybody, that's how this feels if you're not a pet owner. So maybe that'll give you some insight on to how pet owners feel when they lose their beloved pet. But yeah, guys, um, I'm going to try and, and get through this. I made a video. Uh, I did a makeup look. Uh... I don't know what maybe two three days before this happened so the best way I can cope is to just throw myself back into a routine my routine throw myself back into work and um, yeah that's what I'm telling myself This is going to be, this is a rough one. But at least she's being cremated. I wish I could do the taxiderm um, way, you know, where they um, do whatever they do to keep the form of the, of the pet. But I didn't even think about that until I got to um, Miss Denise that's doing the cremation for me um, so yeah at least she'll be cremated and she will still be technically with me <laughs> um, just not in her body you know but yeah let me get off of here and uh, I'm probably going to wait to upload this until I get her um, back home so you can see what she looks what the urn and all that stuff looks like okay cereal. I want some cereal this dude is asking for cereal and it's like I said 6 o'clock but uh, we'll see if I'm going to give him cereal or not. I don't know. But I will see you guys in the next video. Just keep us in your prayers. Bye. Alright guys. See you soon. Hey guys, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but um I forget my I forget my other phone, so I'm I'm actually doing this on my mobile phone, my Android. So I just met up with um Miss Denise and she gave me Sherry. So cute. 
and I didn't open it yet so I'm gonna wait and open that when I get home that way I can use my other um, camera and I know it'll be good quality so until then guys hang on this makes me so happy <sighs> all right guys so just got in the house right and um gave AJ his bath so I'm trying to see where I could put y'all while I open Sherry. Let me see. Okay. So yeah, you can see her. I'll bring it up close. So this is the package. In. And this is the urn that Sherry is in now. I don't know if I should open it. in a bag. Wow. Wow, guys. So this is this is Sherry. I know she don't like to be handled, right? So, just gonna let her rest. And that is what she put on the front. And then there's a card. Print the back. what the card looks like and it says memories are love no she made her pop Past that the remains of Sherry were cremated at Credit Heaven on November 17, 2018. And then she, I told her I wanted a piece of her so. So that's a 
lock of her hair. And the card says, with our deepest sympathy on your loss of your beloved pet. Sincerely, Eddie and Denise. Critter Heaven. And then, uh, this is Sherry. And at least touch her. I have a remembrance that I had her. Oh yeah, guys. You know, um, just had a, a lot of rough, a couple rough days since she's been gone. And the grieving process is no different for your pets than it is for, um, relative or close friend, you know human and um I went from you know sadness to anger and then I went from anger to my to myself because I feel like it was my fault I shouldn't have had her in that sort of room. Maybe she'd still be alive, you know? And then, um, <laughs> I go from thinking about all the good times we had, you know? Those funny times. <laughs> good cheap. Chief was full of personality. And uh, she let you know how, what she was feeling and <laughs> how she felt about you and what you were doing to her. Um, I'll tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss her something terrible. You know, when people like, you know, just get get another cat or get get a dog this time and I can't do it there's nothing there's no pet that can ever place her it's like she could understand me you know she knew when to give me my space she knew when I needed love. She knew when I was sad. She knew when I was happy. We just, you know, we vibed good together. And I just can't see another cat or a dog being able to have that kind of telepathy with me, you know. I, I rest in knowing that I know I gave her a really good home and uh, that I loved her. I loved 
her a lot. And I rest in the thought of knowing that she's not suffering anymore. I know her health was going down and I just sometimes feel like her being in that sunroom when it was cold that that kind of made things worse on her and kind of sped things up even though I know she wasn't eating like three days prior to everything happening but before I had my party she was fine so you know I don't know maybe the change of having the party all this stuff go through my head but and I know everything happens for a reason so you can't help but to have thoughts like that when you lose someone that you love so here we are this is What's left of my beloved pet? My beautiful, pretty girl. <laughs> so, um, thanks guys for sending all your love and hugs and prayers before she crossed over. Uh, I knew that that day, that night, I knew she was not going to make it because she couldn't walk. She couldn't, she couldn't even lift her head. So I knew my baby was leaving. And um, <laughs> funny thing is, before any of this happened, I talked to her. And I talked to God, of course, and um, I asked God to just go ahead and take her if it was her time. And to help me be strong. I've always been able to feel when someone close to me was, was leaving, and that used to scare the but Jesus out of me. Uh, but now I'm more in tune with when it's it's gonna happen. I can't tell who it's gonna be. Um, obviously, in Sherry's case, I was able to tell. But most of the time, I get dreams, um, and it's not the person in the in my dream. It's not that person, but it, that person that's in my dream symbolizes the person that it's going to be. And so, yeah, so I knew my baby was leaving me. And uh, I didn't want her to suffer no more. So, she's in heaven now, so I'm... At least I have, I have her here. This is so important to me right here. Like, I used to love to look at her little face and her, see her eyes and have her bump her head on, on me so I can kiss her. It's things like that I'm gonna miss, you know? miss her coming up meowing for something to eat or something to drink or just for me to love on her those times I'm really gonna miss but God knew the exact time and the exact day to take her so she wouldn't suffer and I'm glad I, I was at home you know with her and that I I did bring her in um, I 
have to tell myself to, to don't do the what if cuz that's gonna that's gonna kill me it's gonna keep me in a in a place where I can't move on and I don't want to get stuck there but I rest in knowing that I know she loved me and she loved me unconditionally like if you have a pet that is a true testament of unconditional love in 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 real time you know like literally you can feel it so i'm gonna get off of here guys and um just kind of spend some time i'm probably gonna bling this out y'all know me i'm probably gonna bling this out for her and um have it for always and at least she can go with me wherever I move to. And I, I don't have to leave her here buried in, in these grounds here. So that I get comfort in as well. All right, guys. I'm going to get off of here because I got to take this wig off and get me a shower and get this day off me. Because that is always the first thing I do after I feed her is um get the baby done and then get this day off of me from the casino so yeah let me get on that there's no school tomorrow or um of course thanksgiving happy thanksgiving and that was another thing i was glad that she is going to be home for the holidays so, um, yeah, today is like the first day that I've smiled since she's been gone. So, I thank God for that. So, be thankful. Hug on your pets. Hug on your family members. Hug on everybody. And just give them love and shower them with love because you never know when that last day is. And I'm glad that I got to hold her and have her and kiss on her. And she kissed on me. And I'm thankful for that. So I'm out. And I'm loving on you too. So, so move in and get some hugs from me and Sherry. Mm -hmm. Thanks, fancy beauties and bows. I'll see you guys soon. Happy holidays.